simple yet brilliant. Everyday Gourmet Brand All-Natural Spiced Pickled Green Beans. Wrap they in your favorite cheese. Accompany they with a Bloody Mary. Eat they straight out of the jar. The only good thing about gaining weight is playing with your turkey neck. <clears throat> so anyways, let me give you guys a behind-the-scenes story about what's going on here at the Limbo Grub household. Uh, you might be familiar with my two dogs. I have Jello, who's been on the show like tons of times before. And Creeksy, you might be a little bit lesser familiar with her, but she's been on a few times here and there. Um, when these two came into the Limbo household, they were in very, very bad shape. Um, Jello was morbidly obese. Jello was almost a pra like, practically a giant sphere. Like his limbs could barely touch the ground. He was really that obese. As for Creeksy, Creeksy was the exact opposite. She was. And it's part of the reason how she got her name. She looked like a cricket. She had an exoskeleton. She wore her bones on the outside. Um, I think part of the reason was because when they were at the kennel together, um, they would just put two bowls of food in the cage with them and just assume that like one would they would both eat. But unfortunately, Jella was a big bully about food, and Creeksy, Creeksy's just a little puss, and she'd just sit around the corner, and Jella would take both bowls of food and just like, stay over there, Nave, I'm gonna eat these bowls, and I'm gonna enjoy this, and you're gonna just sit there and like it. And as the story went, Jello got fat, and Creeksy got skinny. So when we got them in the household, we we couldn't leave that alone. We had to have Jello lose some weight and, and lose it quick. How did we get that weight off? I mean, you saw him lately. He's pretty spry. He's like a little jackrabbit. The miracle of string beans. String beans, I mean, we gave him a little thimble full of food every day and a big old pile of string beans. He'd chow that stuff up like it was nothing. Wouldn't even realize he was eating healthy food. And voila, the the... The weight fell right off of him. He's doing great, he's doing healthy. And maybe I should follow Angelo's four footsteps because I'm starting to gain a little bit of weight. I mean, doing this as a hobby, it sucks because when I gain weight from eating, I at least want to enjoy it, <laughs> you know? But half the time when I'm eating on this show, I, I'm not enjoying it and I'm, I'm gaining weight as a result and it sucks. I just. I hate getting fatter, I hate the way that it, the, the fat feels like dangling off of your bones and and you might, I, I wear it really well, I still look like a skinny guy, but my body is built like a typewriter, my body goes at an incline, so yeah, so I saw this pop up in my wicker basket and they're spiced pickled green beans from a company called Everyday Gourmet and Part of the reason why I have some trepidation on go trepidation on going on um, uh, Jello's diet is because number one, I hate vegetables with a passion. I mean, you might even notice that from the lack of vegetables on this show. And number two, the two vegetables that I hate more than anything on the planet: number one, celery; number two, green beans. I hate green beans. I just do not like them. Maybe because they're maybe them being spiced will be the reason why I can enjoy these, and maybe they will be a healthy addition to my diet. If I can get the can open, this is not something I I had planned on. Oh, good lord. Alright, my hands are... there we go. Oh, and there goes the brine. Ugh, all over the place. Ugh, alright. I almost don't have to smell this because I can smell the, uh, the fumes wafting off of it, but, um... Mmm. Actually, it smells very good. It smells like chili. It almost smells like... It could almost smell chopped meat in there. Not sure if that's the desired scent. Anyway, here we have a nice, delicious green bean. You see, this is the, you know, the natural green bean. You can see little pods inside. This is my least favorite type of green bean. Uh, if, if I'm going to eat a green bean, it's going to be the ones that you buy cut up at the, the supermarket in the, like, that little can. Um, but this is like an all-natural, like, fresh out-of-the-earth green bean. It almost looks like a, like a big green worm in my hand. But, alright, I'll give it a whirl and, uh, we'll see what I think of this. Hmm. That is actually not that bad. 
to take something as gross as a green bean and infuse it with a good flavor, I give these people all the credit in the world. But you know what? I bet you what I'm eating, because I can taste how unhealthy this tastes, there's no way this green bean can be healthy. There's no way. I bet the way it works is when you infuse all this bad shit into it, it negates all the good shit. And it's like when you make a salad. And the more shit you throw on top of the salad, the less healthy it gets. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah, that's, that's the best comparison I can come up with. If you're putting like bacon bits and like, like all sorts of like meat and nuts in your salad, and you can't, you can no longer say you're eating something healthy. You can't, you just don't have that right. Who are you kidding? Go to salad bar at like freaking Ruby Tuesdays, you make the ultimate salad. It looks like a freaking mound from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Just topped with shit and like all sorts of like weird toppings and drenched and dressings. You're not eating anything healthy anymore. And I think that's probably the case with this. I bet you, if I were to eat nothing but this for the rest of my life, I would still gain weight. I would end up like Jello, a giant spear. Not able to touch the ground with any of my limbs because I'm just freaking beach ball. So if I were to give this a star rating, it is very good. You know what? I will give it, I'll give it three and a half stars. This was a, su a pleasant surprise. I had no problem eating these beans. They're very, very spicy. They taste like chili. They taste like chopped meat that you would put in a taco. In fact, if you were to dice this and put it into a, like, into a, a legit taco, it would be delicious. I wouldn't need to put sauce on that taco because it would be just spicy enough that it would provide me with that spiciness that I need. It's very, very good. Not bad, surprisingly good. Seek these out, just for curiosity's sake. Everyday gourmet, all natural spiced pickled green beans. Try this, I mean, I'm not gonna be skinny like Jello at any time soon. Jello, I'm sorry, you're like my mentor right now, but what am I gonna say? This is your good buddy DJ Kly saying until next time I'll see you in limbo and then definitely this was a pleasant surprise. I definitely say go to, I, I suppose you go to like Trader Joe's or something like this and find yourself some everyday gourmet spiced pickled green beans. It's good shit right here. Ta-ta everybody.